I got this 27 inch monitor from Korui. It's the 27E 3QK and it's on sale right now. So there's not much to talk about. Like if you're in the market for a monitor that's in the 27 inch range and you want high refresh rate and you want an IPS, that's it. We're done talking, you go get it. They didn't pay me for this video. That's the disclosure. They sent this over and I get to keep it. I don't want to get rid of it. This is where I've been getting my Windows keys for the last couple of years, right here on whokeys.com. They're my longtime sponsor as well, so thanks for that. The difference is this is an OEM key, so it's tied to the hardware, but you'd have to buy this 10 or 12 times to make it equal the cost of retail. The other difference is you'll be doing your own tech support here because you don't get the Microsoft tech support, and I don't think any of us have ever used Microsoft's tech support, so you can get Windows 11 Pro, you can get Windows 10 Pro, you can also get Windows 10 Home, and then we have three flavors of Office 2021, 2019, and 2016. But if you use coupon code TS25, we're going to bump that up to 25% off. Just go ahead and add what you need to your cart, putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, then you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. And don't waste your money on a ridiculously priced key from Microsoft when you can get them right here. So say thanks to Hookies and grab a copy of Windows at a price that makes sense. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. So I wasn't familiar with the company at first, so I did a little research. They actually do a lot of OEMs for other companies, including big brands like Samsung. They, they're the factory that manufactures a lot of these things. So you get a high quality product and they've decided to start making their own monitors. And that's why you'll see the prices on these are so low. You find like 24 inch monitors with 165 hertz refresh rate for like a hundred and something dollars. And then you step up to this one. This is 1440p, 27 inch, 1001 uh, contrast ratio, 100% of the sRGB gamut, 93% of the DCI gamut, I think it is. One millisecond response time. That's according to the marketing material. I don't have a tester for that, but that's what they say. This is 240 hertz and it's IPS. That's something you don't see together that often. You get the rich colors of IPS. So that's really good for just doing editing, watching your movies, videos, anime, whatever, watching TV shows. VA panels are nice and fast, but I mean, an IPS with 240 hertz, that's pretty crazy. And obviously, and now with something like this, I'd expected it to be a TN panel, which would not look very good. It would be washed out, ugly, but it would be fast. But this is so freaking fast. I, it's like, I don't need a TN panel anymore. And it looks really good. Now the HDR is only 400, so eh, whatever. It's there so they can check that box on the marketing. If you want it, it's you can turn it on and get some benefits of HDR, but I think stuff looks so good without it even turned on that I'm going to leave it off. And you also have your free sync on this. It, it, it'll work with the, you know any adaptive sync. It'll work with the NVIDIA G-Sync or whatever. You can turn that on if you want to, but with 240 hertz, I don't want to turn on free sync. And I'll tell you why. So when you have a monitor that's this fast, you're generally not going to see the screen tearing. And the reason that you see screen tearing in the first place is if your monitor is running at a refresh rate like 60 or maybe even 100 but the game or whatever is going above that it's going like 130 or 140 fps so on your 60 hertz the 140 it may not line up at the same time you so you're going to get this weird screen tearing um, but when you have a 240 hertz refresh rate a lot of your games are not going to be running at 240 hertz they're going to be running under that and you won't really see the screen tearing if it's running under that you're just going to see each frame as it's presented and if it goes beyond that the refresh rate's so high that if there is any screen tearing it's going to be so minimal you may not even notice it now if you do notice it on any games you can turn on the free sync or adaptive sync and it'll look a little bit smoother but that can add a tiny bit of latency that matters to professional gamers. If you're playing like an RPG or whatever, it doesn't matter at all. I'm gonna leave it off on this panel. And now this panel is extremely crisp. If you lean in really, really close, you can see the array of pixels. And you can see that in the footage with the camera because the camera is close and it's also a 4K camera capturing, um, you know, capturing pixels that are only 1440p. So you are gonna see that on the screen, but when you're sitting back at desk, you know, like two or three feet away, like at your desk, I don't see the grid of pixels because for me, 1440p at 27 inches is the perfect pixel density uh, for sitting about two or so feet away. If you're running 4K on a 27 inch screen, you are gonna have to turn on the, the scaling. A lot of people put it on 125 or 150. If you put it on 125, well then all your menus and all your stuff on your screen is gonna look just like a 1440p panel. 
it's just going to be harder to drive. So I don't recommend 4K until you get above 32 inches. So I think 1440p is the perfect thing for this size. Let's go over the rest of the features of this. Uh, first off, let's take a look at the back. Now you can see on the back we have two HDMI. The first one can do 240 and the second one will do 144. And then the display port will do a 240. There's also an audio out right there in the back. Now the stand is metal and plastic, feels really solid and substantial, does not wiggle or wobble or anything like that. And putting the monitor on the stand is really easy. It just snaps into place, kind of like the Dell stands that you see. You just set it on there and snap it in and then it's done and it's secure. I always snap it in and then I pick up the monitor and move it around and see if the stand comes with it. If the stand comes off, then it's not securely fastened. So make sure you do that. Once you get it on there, we have a lot we can do with this stand. Now it can go up and down 110 meters. Then we can tilt it five to 20 degrees and we can swivel it 15 degrees. Above and beyond that, we can pivot the entire thing 90 degrees so that it is a vertical monitor. So if you wanted to get a couple of these or three of these and make a vertical array, I love having a vertical monitor on the side. So if you wanted to do something like that, you could totally do that. Now underneath the monitor mount, we have a 75 by 75 visa mount. It comes with four M4 screws. They're like kind of big. Also the stand features a little bit of cable management in the back so everything can be tucked away. All right, so here's the thing. My camera cannot do this justice because my camera shoots either 4K at, at 30 FPS or I could do 1080p at 30 FPS or 60 FPS if I lower the quality. It's not really, I got rid of most of my cameras, everybody, sorry. So I don't have the, the setup to show you how good this looks. So I guess I just have to describe it. You're gonna see more blurring than I'm seeing with my eyes because I'm shooting this at 4K 30. I decided to do it at 4K because I wanted to see the pretty 4K video, but I can only do 30 FPS, that's it. So it looks so fluid. You know, I can do the tests and everything. I can have the, the little alien go across or the Martian or whatever go across the screen. And it looks good to me. It's one of the best looking uh, monitors I've ever seen because it's, it's weird for my brain to see something this fluid, but also have this high of a quality of as far as like color goes and everything. I'm not used to that. Now, does this feel as smooth as my CRT? <laughs> Nothing does, but it's getting so good that it's kind of like making me scratch my head. Once we get up into like, 240 hertz with something that looks this good you know we could probably do black frame insertion it'll dim the picture a little bit and start to get to the quality fluidity level of a crt this is not something that's equipped to do that out of the box but there are some pieces of software like retroarch and stuff maybe at the end of the video i'll do that cover the product dimensions 24.15 by 20.19 by 9.53 inches and it weighs 11.86 pounds there are no speakers because they know better than that. I feel like that's another way they're keeping the price down is they didn't include any speakers, but you have an audio out there so you can plug it up to other speakers. I think about 1% of people or fewer use speakers on gaming monitors. I think it's probably like 0.01% actually because I've never heard of anybody using speakers on their monitor. Well, especially not gaming monitor, maybe an office monitor or something, but surely not. The games that I play looked really good on this. Um, I'm trying to think of like, what any negatives would be and at this price range i don't think there's much to complain about because i haven't seen this set of features at this price range with this color quality ever and that's that's it so if i were going to buy a 27 inch monitor and like i said they didn't sponsor any of this but if i was going to buy a 27 inch monitor and i was looking for 1440p and uh you know it, it, it was on sale like it is now this would be the one to get and it's again it's really well made I also want to mention that it does have a slight gamer aesthetic on the back, but it's it's not too far and the front is is clean in business and it it's not as like I've seen some that go like completely goofy with the stand and everything. It's, it's not a carnival ride. So I, I kind of like that too. It's tasteful gaming. Anyway, let me know what you think of this monitor. I wish I had better equipment to test it so I could give you like the full on science of it. All I can do is really give you my opinion, but I've looked at a billion monitors. I've worked in this stuff for a long time and I've seen them. I've got 9,000 monitors on every desk. And this one is, well, it's the most fluid monitor I have in the house other than my CRT. You know, I've got some other monitors, but they're not 240 hertz and they're not IPS. If they are, I mean, you're looking at it on your monitor, so it's not going to look as good as it would in person. So yeah, if you're in the market for one, you know, go ahead. Don't, if you already have a good monitor, don't let me influence you to like sell your stuff and, and take out a, a loan or sell your grandmother so you can buy this. You know, like I'm giving you that, like, 
if you're like having that trance where you're like, I already have everything I need, but I want that, snap out of that. If you're ready to get a new monitor and it's like, it's time, then there you go. But if you already have like a, you know, a 200 hertz monitor that you like, that's enough of the lecture. All right, everybody. Don't forget, we got the sale going on at epicpants.com. Pretty much everything except for the print on demand stuff is 50% off. I decided to extend the sale until January 1st, even though I don't expect too many more orders. I think everybody, everybody who wanted something probably already has something but maybe you didn't know. Maybe you missed out. Maybe you forgot about it. So I'm giving you a little bit of a chance here to help me clear up my shelves and I'll help you get 50% off on some good stuff. Fitty, not 50, fitty. So head on over here, uh, check out some stuff. We got some cool t-shirts. Yeah, I like them. I wear them. <laughs> so check those out and maybe grab yourself a mouse, whatever you need. Whatever you need, don't grab it if you don't need it. See you later.